Hello everybody and welcome to my drumming world. It's Tamatis here from SK Drumming and on today it's Friday. Uh, we'll have another Q&A episode. Uh, shall we get started with some news? There were, uh, let's say, a couple of weeks or so in silence as about the Q&A episodes. Uh, was in extreme rush. I had to deliver two projects in the IT uh, stuff I do and uh, that kept me way too busy in order to be on time uh, other than that uh, also the, sp the spring in uh, the village is uh, always a very busy period because we prepare the land for planting our own uh, vegetables uh, plus the chicken birds you know how it goes it's uh, quite uh, madness I might say but uh, I do love it other, other than that uh, I saw that uh, you liked a lot uh, the second series of uh, drum covers I post uh, from your likes, from your comments. Yes, those are, uh, let's say, simplistic. Uh, way too difficult for me because uh, I used to play in more technical and advanced stuff uh, and uh, became familiar with that kind of playing because uh, no matter how complicated it is, uh, you learn the other instruments theme and that guides you on uh, what to play. But uh, when it comes to simplistic uh, stuff, I need to go back to basics and uh, remember how it's about counting measures, etc, etc, etc. My business stuff uh, keeps rolling as about the IT stuff. Hopefully, I might have uh, a couple of uh, recording sessions in my studio and uh, yes uh, during this weekend uh, I will have an interview uh, more about it uh, I will uh, tell in uh, next week in the episode uh, 17 uh, unless uh, this one will be posted earlier than that uh, and uh, that's pretty much it of my news. On this week, we have uh, some questions to answer. So let's get through them. First question is from uh, Georgos Big Good. Uh, he asks in Greek, what type of uh, drum heads I use in my bass drum in order to to achieve the sound that uh, all of you heard and uh, loved so far. Well, George, <laughs> do I mind to tell you that uh, I'm still using the spoke drum head that came with my drums? Uh, to be frank, that uh, drum head is equal to Remo Power Stroke 3. But uh, the sound, it's not only the drum head that somebody uses is the tuning and the sonic character of the drum. Thomas used to have uh, that uh, punchy attack sound in their kicks. That's why most of uh, the metalheads are prefer them. Uh, it's easier to achieve a good sound uh, without using any trigger. Other than that, uh, there are uh, plenty of recording techniques I use uh, for uh, capturing that sonic character and of course the process I do during uh, the mixing uh, what treatment I do with uh, equalizers, with compressors but uh, as we say in the sound engineering field uh, everything starts having a good source to pick if you have a good source uh, to pick on that, then uh, it's uh, easy to reproduce that uh, in the monitors. 
because whatever uh, your ears are uh, hear, are hearing is there you just need to do surgical operations to cut off the wanted stuff and pick those that you want and of course uh, another question is from uh, Stamatis Tsolelis uh, he asked me he was furious on that uh, he asked me two or three questions as I remember I don't have any paper in front of me uh, reading those questions I remember them uh, he asked me for all of these years that I play uh, if I had to change something on my drumming what that should be and uh, yes I'm just keeping the stamati, I'm just keeping the mean value of all of your uh, sub questions because all of them are lead on uh, that topic. And yes, uh, as I remember when I first sat on a uh, drum set, since then uh, I, ch I changed my technique uh, from scratch let's say about five or six times because uh, I realizing that uh, the technique I was using uh, had a barrier that uh, I cannot overcome as about the speed as about the control uh, some of them yes uh, they have uh, plenty of options for control but when it comes to increase the speed uh, you start using mostly your muscles, uh, resulting to inconsistencies, which means uh, a lack of control. And yes, I went through many changes, uh, and right now I'm still uh, changing things, uh, mostly on my feet, because uh, <clears throat> it's about my feet. Uh, I used to have with my old drum set uh, Iron Cobra, pedal which is not a long board and uh, when I switched to the speed cobra that I currently use uh, that technique uh, was not uh, precise and uh, yes uh, need to adapt to my pedal on uh, what that pedal uh, requires so softer movements uh, more uh, delicate uh, techniques and hits in order to achieve my goal. I'm still learning. And uh, if I still see some barriers in the future, <laughs> I won't hesitate changing them all from scratch again. Switching to something that uh, it will be more convenient to my style hope that uh, answers your question and with this and that uh, we reach to this episode's end thank you so much for participating thank you so much for uh, being uh, part of my crowd uh, actually I consider my crowd as a family thank you so much uh, every view of uh, every view uh, you do every like you do every comment you do it counts a lot of uh, me and uh, I thank you so much for everything uh, stay tuned for uh, tomorrow's drums only uh, and uh, Sunday's drums only of course there will be next week an another couple of uh, drum covers and of course a new episode of uh, Q&A if you have any questions, comments uh, you want to discuss with me, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if it happens to land for the first time in this video and you like it, the content that you just saw, uh, hit the subscribe button, uh, take your time to navigate through the rest of my videos and uh, do not hesitate to share it with your friends. Till next Friday, uh, be safe, be healthy, and see you 
Bye, everybody.